mixture in a petrol engine. Spark plug needs a very high voltage electricity to create that spark. This high voltage needed by spark plug is not supplied by battery directly. Function of ignition system is to generate the high voltage electricity needed to create spark and distribute the same to each of the spark plug at appropriate time. With the increase in engine speed, the timing of spark is also advanced. This gives sufficient time to air fuel mixture to burn completely and provide desired push on top of the piston during power stroke. Function of ignition system is to also advance the ignition timing appropriately as per engine speed. The high voltage electricity needed to create the spark is produced by a component, ignition coil, used in the ignition system. The ignition coil consists of two coils, the primary and the secondary coil. The primary coil is of relatively thicker wire and lesser number of turns than secondary coil. The secondary coil has thinner wire and very high number of turns. Primary coil is used to create a strong magnetic field around the coil by passing current through it. The current supply to the primary coil is cut off at the appropriate time by the ignition system. When the current supply to primary coil is cut off, the magnetic field created by it collapses rapidly towards the center of the ignition coil. When magnetic coil collapses, it moves through the secondary coil. Since the secondary coil has very high number of turns, a very high voltage is induced in it. This high voltage is then supplied to spark plugs by ignition system. On the basis of structure, ignition system can be classified into the following three types. Contact ignition system or ignition system with contact breaker point and distributor. Transistor ignition system or electronic ignition system with distributor. Electronic spark advance system or distributorless ignition system. Let us examine the function of contact ignition system or ignition system with contact breaker point and distributor. In this system, the current flowing from battery to the primary coil is cut off by a mechanical contact breaker point operated by a rotating cam located on the distributor shaft. This type of ignition system features a ballast resistor. The ignition coil in this system operates on 9 volts. Ballast resistor reduces the normal 12 volts of battery supply to 9 volts when engine is running. However, this resistor is bypassed when the ignition switch is turned to start position. This supplies full battery voltage to the coil for better starting, which goes below 12 volts due to starter load. The cutting off of primary coil current induces high voltage current and is supplied to the distributor. The distributor rotor then directs the current to the appropriate spark plug through the high tension cord. The high voltage creates a spark across the gap of a spark plug. The distributor and contact breaker point are driven by the camshaft. This ensures correct ignition timing with respect to the piston position. Opening of contact breaker point can create a spark across the contacts and can damage them. A capacitor is used to absorb excess voltage within the circuit. It is placed in parallel to contact breaker point and voltage passes through capacitor easily than to jump across the contacts to create a spark. This system needs periodic cleaning, adjustment 
and replacement of contact breaker point. Capacitor also needs periodic replacement for proper functioning of system. In this system, ignition timing advance is achieved by using two separate mechanisms in the distributor. A vacuum advance mechanism that changes ignition timing as per engine load. A centrifugal advance mechanism that changes ignition timing as per engine RPM. Both of these systems rotate the plate on which contact breaker point is mounted to advance the opening of point and cut off the supply to primary coil. Let us examine the function of transistor ignition system or electronic ignition system with distributor. Structurally, this system is similar to contact ignition system, except one difference. In this system, the current flowing from battery to the primary coil is cut off by a transistor present in the igniter. The signal to igniter to cut off the primary coil circuit is given in the form of AC signal generated by pickup coil and signal rotor. The transistor ignition system has no contact breaker point and capacitor. Hence, it needs very less maintenance. This system provides stable high voltage and accurate ignition timing. In Maruti Suzuki vehicles, two types of distributor-less ignition systems are used. DDLI or Dual Distributor-Less Ignition System. SDLI or Single Distributor-Less Ignition System. In this system, two ignition coils are used. Each ignition coil is connected with two cylinders. The system generates spark in both the cylinders at the same time. Out of this, only one spark is used by one of the cylinder and the other spark is wasted. In this system, high tension cords are used to supply high voltage from ignition coils to spark plugs. In this system, a separate ignition coil is used for each cylinder of engine. In this system, no high tension cords are used as ignition coils are connected directly to each spark plug to supply high voltage. Let us examine the function of electronic spark advance or distributorless ignition system. This ignition system is fully electronic and is not equipped with distributor, pickup coil and signal rotor. In this system, the ECM gives signal directly to igniter fitted inside the ignition coil to cut off the current flowing through primary coil. This system provides precise control on spark and is currently used in most of the vehicles equipped with multi-port fuel injection system. The illustration describes the function of single distributorless ignition system or SDLI with separate ignition coils for each cylinder of engine. ECM uses signals from camshaft position or CMP sensor and crankshaft position or CKP sensor to identify the cylinder which is in compression stroke and the crank angle. After this, the ECM adjusts initial ignition timing and optimum ignition advance. ECM also gets input from other sensors such as throttle position sensor, engine coolant temperature sensor, manifold absolute pressure sensor, mass airflow sensor and intake air temperature sensor and knock sensor to determine various driving and load conditions and adjust ignition advance accordingly. Trouble in ignition system will show up as one or more of the conditions such as engine cranks but does not start or hard to start, poor fuel economy or poor engine performance. The table illustrates the condition, possible causes 
and correction needed for these troubles. This completes the module on... Thank you.